welcome. Today, I may or may not be um, still at my house during quarantine. Yay! So, today, I thought I'd do something different. I am not good at makeup. I'm not bad at it, but I'm not good. Oh dear, my hair. Let's just clear that up. I'm not good at it. But today, I thought I'd do my makeup. But not, not every other normal makeup, no. I'm gonna be doing old makeup. Like, old makeup. So, let's start. And I realized this three minutes ago, but there's no mascara. So we can't use mascara, which is gonna make me look very oh, flat. And then my brushes, I have this brush, the brush that was in the bronzer, which I haven't opened. And then I have little baby sponge brush, which people used to use for their eyes. I can't use a beauty blender, so that's also fun. How am I going to do contour? It's going to look bad. And then I have this real crispy thing on a double-sided brush. That's right, I'm fancy. I have a double-sided brush. My hair's already coming down, so I'm just gonna flip this. Now, sit back, relax, and enjoy watching me destroy my face. So, let's get started, okay? I moved the camera down so it'd just be like easier to zoom in on me, but, um, Still not gonna be fun. So I'm gonna start with foundation. Or this is hard to decide because the contour is a like a stick. So if I put foundation on and then the stick, it'll like wipe off the foundation. So I'm just gonna do it in the pattern that I would normally do. So foundation. And since I have no normal foundation brush. I'm going to have to use this for foundation. That's a dirty brush. I'm going to be Bob Ross. Okay. Let, let's begin. So I'm just going to dip it in here. If any beauty gurus are watching, don't judge me. That's a thick powder. Okay. Let's just like start. This is bad already. It's crusty and crispy and streaky. And in my eyebrows. Oh, yeah, that's another thing. There's no eyebrow. So, it's going to do it how I normally do it. This is not a good look for me. Oh. <laughs> oh, I got it in my eye. So I've done the application process as best I could. And, well, it's a little crispy here and there. And I've already made a mess of my shirt and my desk. Now I'm going to use Healthy Skin Blends by Neutrogena Organic Bronzer. How organic is this? I don't want to know. It's in this little plastic sheet. Ooh! Hmm! That's a stiff brush. Now, let's just like, let's get this bronze away. 
I've never used bronzer. Where do I put that? Do I use it like contour? Do I use it like highlight or blush? My cheekbones are going to be snatched by the end of this. Did I put it here? Oh. Okay. It looks worse than the camera. Bronze. You know how that goes. Oh gosh, it looks so bad. It looks like I'm trying to do my stage makeup with no idea what I'm doing. Because I don't have any idea what I'm doing. I'm just going to stop while I'm ahead. And I'm not ahead. <laughs> this is bad on every level. Don't judge my singing. I'm not a pro. I'm just making it worse. It looks like when you have those, the like big goggles on where it covers your nose too, and you've had them on too long, and then there's like this weird line around your face. That's what it looks like right now. I'm gonna move on to contour. Look at that difference. No, that's not a good, that's, that's a deep difference. If you couldn't tell, I already look bad, so. Let's just like, oh, my, oh, okay. Ugh. Mistakes were made. I, I'm not used to this. I'm not good at this. Is this how you're supposed to do it? Is this right? This is probably not right. I made mistakes. Now, since I have no sponge, should I use this? This brush or this one? We're going to try out both. I'm going to do this for my nose. Because it's closest to a beauty blender. Okay, so it's actually doing something. It's not good something, but it's something. Literally, give me that tight nose. I look a little slender. Oh no, it's not, it's not blending. It's not blending. <laughs> I should have seen this coming from a mile away. <laughs> the foundation looks okay. The bronzer I could work with. This contour has gone too far. Maybe I can use the brush to like blend it into the powder. So that's happened. Now I'm gonna just move on. I'm moving on. I'm moving on. Let's use blush. I also don't normally use blush on a normal basis, but sometimes it's your only option. Because I've decided that I will have to be using all of these, Still like, blush myself into existence. Not bad. It's like metallic, but if you like metallic blush, then that's fine. And I normally just put a smidge on the nose to give you that delightful, cutesy look. I look like Rudolph. I look like Rudolph. Yet I'm still applying for who knows why. Okay. Okay. It's not good. Not bad. You can see each of the layers that I've There is a very real line of you can tell where I've done it it's real cut now I'm trying to decide should I go with gold shimmer or weird pink I feel like for that time the time that I'm going for they would have gold shimmer so I'm just gonna pat out some gold shimmer that looks 
like yellow dust. But it's very shiny. Dang, dang, that's shiny. You can see my powder ugly fingers. <sighs> Let's do this thing. This might work, actually. It's like. It's not bad highlighter. It's not bad highlighter at all. Get a little for the other side. I'm making a mess. I'm making a mess. Oh, I'm not even looking where that's going. I'm going to have to clean this up. Oh. My. Goodness. That, that made it worse. No, fix. Okay. At least it covers up the contour. Oh, it's just spreading. It is spreading. Maybe I can use this little brush and like, put some on my nose. Like right there. Maybe a little on the upper lip. That was not a good choice. Okay. I'm gonna move on. So, this is what it looks like. They're, like, so far. You can see that cut, the over amount of highlighter, the unblendableness of this, just all the contours of the face, the weird Rudolph nose. The only thing that looks normal is my lips and my eyebrows. Now this is going to be a very different eye experience because, well, the colors on here aren't like the best options, but then again, there are no good options, so. I'm going to just do a quick base. So, the lightest color they have that's closest to my skin tone is white. So, pop that on there. It's got no pigment. Good to know. But you know, I'm gonna go with this fun purple. It's not, you know, what? I'm gonna go for a fun look today. So there's this purple, but I'm going with this one right here. And I'm gonna blend those in in a minute. But I'm just gonna like pop that on there. Because this is clearly the best way to go. There is some random guy coming up to our door. And my window is wide open. And I look like this. So if they've come here to see. Like I don't know. If they want to talk to me. I'm bailing. Um okay. I'm just going to proceed. Um, oh, I'm sorry, is it this face? I'm concerned. Like, the makeup and the person out there, I don't know who they are. We'll go with this one and put it out here. We're going for bold purple today. That's chunky. Let's go. So I did these eyes. You know how I said the other one wasn't very pigmented? Yeah, this one's very pigmented. It's very vibrant. I feel like I need one more thing to really bring this out there. So I'm going to add this white and bring it in the inner corner because, you know, we can. I better not get pink eye after this.
what if I, what if I went just like, entirely under, under the entire thing, not entirely under the thing. See, that doesn't look bad, but then again, it's just white. So, if I'm, I'm like falling off the bed, so, that's fine. I'm gonna do a full under, because that gives it some depth. Not that it needs any more. Also, the guy who came to our door left. No one answered. <laughs> okay. Not bad. It looks like, I don't know, fancy makeup. So I'm definitely fancy. It looks mediocre. But the next thing I need to do to really make my eyes pop is I'm gonna use some of this stuff. This is Victoria Jackson Jet Black Eye Pencil. I've never done eye pencil or eyeliner on myself and it looked good. So yeah. Wanna see how this goes. Get it real close to that eyelash line. It's not very close, but I'm working with it. Should I do a cat eye? I will. I can. She could, so she did. If you know what I mean. This is really out of context also. They, it, they look different, but they don't look bad. But um, this is very out of context, but I'm going to give a quick shout out to two of my friends who I just wanted to say hi to in this video because, well, I talked to them yesterday and I wanted to say hi. So hello to Madison and Rachel. Hello. If you're out there, let me know. So that's fun. They were in my last video. Go check it out. Okie dokie. So, this is what they look like so far. It's not good. It's not bad. It's okay. And the last step is to... One sec. Put on this lip stuff. Let's just do a quick application and I'll see you when I'm done. Are you ready for the big reveal? A three. A two. Big countdown. Give me a drum roll. Huzzah. <clears throat> Let me take this off real quick. So, it's real splotchy. Also, this smells like um raspberry tea. So, that's fun. And that's the tea. And so, it's real splotchy everywhere. Everywhere it's just splotchy. But it's not terrible. Okay, never mind. I know what you're thinking. It's terrible, Bailey. So, that's what we've done from old makeup. And, um, I hope you'd enjoyed this video.